Cracks in the concrete are often the cause of water leaking into structures such as basements, tanks, or tunnels. Such cracks can develop, for example, due to overloading, shrinkage, or thermal stresses. Large amounts of water can enter the structure in a very short time. In such cases, the waterproofing is carried out through the injection of an elastic synthetic material known as injection resin. Initially, a foaming injection resin is used to displace the water, and then a non-foaming resin is injected to permanently seal the crack. To simplify this procedure, Kirster has developed a novel injection resin, Kirster 2 IN1. The Clow. When it comes into contact with water, it forms a highly elastic foam that stops the water and displaces it from the crack. When no water is present, it forms an elastic solid body resin. These properties simplify the work of waterproofing cracks in concrete considerably, since only one material is needed for both wet and dry cracks. The applicator no longer needs to determine if the crack is wet or dry, and he only requires one injection material on the construction site. The drill holes are installed at 45 degree angles on alternating sides of the crack. The injection valves, known as packers, are installed. Cracks wider than a half a millimeter are sealed with mortar. The resin is now mixed and injected into the crack with a one component pump. The resin foams and displaces the water. In areas where the crack is dry, the material hardens into an elastic solid body resin. After approximately 15 minutes, the same packers are re-injected with the same injection resin. The elastic solid body resin compresses and displaces the foam and completely, permanently, and elastically fills the crack system. The cracks will remain dry, even when subjected to normal movements in the construction member.